Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I posted a video of Kylie Rodney's song that she recorded with lyrics. I then posted a second updated version. So I just want to talk about a few things. A couple people pointed out that this says Kylie N, which is Kylie Neiman, and had suspicions that this wasn't even her. Now, from my understanding, Neiman is her mother's last name, so she could have very well been using her mother's last name instead of Rodney. As you can see, there is a picture of her, and it also says Truckee. Now, in the comments on the SoundCloud page that this song is on, we can also see that there was a comment left by Jagger. So I feel that it's pretty safe to assume that this is in fact Kylie. Kylie's voice is not the only voice we hear. This song is featuring an artist named Crepe. I'm going to play a small snippet from her song now. If you want to hear the whole version, go watch this video. So naturally, with very little that we know in regards to the Kylie Rodney case, everyone is wondering, who is Crepe? So Crepe is a music artist. This is his Instagram. He is followed by Jagger. He also has a Spotify account with quite a bit of music on there. So this is him in his own words. Congratulations, my friends. You just found an artist before they blew up. Fuck! Let me start by prefacing that I'm the only human being on the fucking planet that would wear a beanie and all black clothes on a 100 degree day. Just to introduce myself a little bit, I'm a emo punk star. Long story short, I make rock. And my name is Crepe, spelled a little differently than you would, uh, you would think. I'm a little bit of a goofball, but I spell it C-R-A-P-E. This is me right here. Now y'all, this is my newest single right here, just hit 50,000, I love you guys. I also had to change locations because the sweat under my beanie was getting very uncomfortable. The sound of this video is actually my newest single called Believe For Me. As I said, punk ass motherfucker. I'm going on a limb here to either that corner, that's my initial guess, second guess this corner, so if you guys can click it, just take a listen. Maybe you might like it, but it was nice meeting all of you guys. My name is Craig, and I hope you guys come along on the ride. So, another creator on YouTube, I don't know if she wants me to mention her name or not, but I'll tag her below, mentioned that it could be a little suspicious because of his song called Fight Club, and also a video that he has posted to his social media, which is this video right here. So he has text on the screen that says, when the rock artist with anger issues comes to the studio. And I found this one on his Instagram. from that video why someone would be suspicious of it especially with the timing according to the instagram post comments it was posted around three weeks ago but his spotify account you can see his heaven and hell album was released in august of 2022 and the number one song is fight club however when we go to his instagram account and we go through his reels and videos i found a video that he did with that fight club song before august stop scrolling coming song in 30 seconds this is the Fight Club edition. Let's pick a beat, we're going with some aggressive shit today. Next up, add your vocals. Welcome to the Fight Club. It's that aggressive shit. I might die for your love. Like me in my eyes. Cause I might just die if I go back to my own ways. Smack on some effects, add a little bit more vocals, and you got your final product. Welcome to the Fight Club. I might die for your love. Take a dagger through my heart. Yeah. So if we look to see when that was posted, it appears to have been posted about 17 weeks ago. So he had already had this song, he just had not released it yet. Now he does appear to be from California, because if you go to his TikTok account, 
where he has lots of videos posted as well, he has this video. This is a message to all of my fellow Californians. Y'all better be staying hydrated because as you can see here, it's been like 110 degrees every day. So it looks like that he is in fact from California. Plus in the comments of that video, he says, hello fellow Californian. I also noticed some people were questioning who the blonde guy was in some of his videos with him. So this is who the blonde guy is. This is his TikTok account and he appears to be Crepes Drummer. Posted to their own social media accounts, his name appears to be Jake. In regards to the Kylie Rodney case, I know there are some pictures floating around of someone who is blonde and I do not think that these are the same person. That being said, Kylie's video was called Far Away featuring Crepe. So I tried to go and find his song because I thought that maybe she had just taken snippets from one of his songs and then recorded over it with her own. But this was the only song that I could find that was called Far Away by him. And if you listen in the beginning, you will hear that first sound that was in her song. About that entire song, that was the only lyrics that were the same from her song. So I don't know if maybe she used what he sang from a different song or if they in fact did collaborate and do this song together. Which honestly wouldn't be a huge stretch because we know that he is from California as well. I will say I do think it is interesting that we keep seeing the Fight Club come up time and time again. We heard Sammy comment about friendly fights, but then also said that people bring boxing gloves and there's a champion there belt. There were some friendly fights that were going on. There was, like, we had boxing gloves. There was, like, we had boxing gloves. People were, like, trying to instigate. It wasn't anybody who had really any drama or... No. They weren't enemies or anything. It was more just friendly fights to keep entertainment going. This happens at a lot of our parties. This happens at a lot of our parties. We just do it to have fun. If somebody <laughs> gets hurt, like we have people on them. But yeah, just um, see I... who wins and who goes home with the title, which I will <laughs> frankly admit people do end up getting in fights over who won, but not this time. But not this time. This is your case. These are the parties that our kids are going to. We need, we need, we need answers. 